Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. This is Business Connect. My name is Roy. If this is your first time on this channel, here we do videos about life in China. Yes, generally the life of an international student in China, the life of an expat in China, and generally we talk about how foreigners survive in China. So in today's video, we will be talking about the latest visa policy in one of the cities in China. Yes, one of the major cities in China but eventually it might affect all international students in China. So if you're watching our channel for the first time and you're interested to know about the life of an international student in China, the life of an expat in China, how foreigners survive in China, that is what we do on the channel. So you want to hit that subscription button, join us on the channel so that each time we upload interesting videos, interesting vlogs about China, YouTube will send you a notification and you'll be the first to watch our videos. Welcome back. You know, the past few weeks in China has not really been easy for international students, for foreign experts, generally for foreigners in China. You get up to this policy, tomorrow is this policy. They started with foreign teachers, online teaching. Now they're going to uh, international students, visa policies and so on, like every day is a new policy. And you know, you live in China as an international student or as an expat, and you don't know what the next policy will be. You don't know what you will get up tomorrow to hear. Maybe you'll live in China the next day. So um, today we'll be talking about the new visa policy in Hangzhou. And uh, Hangzhou is one of the major cities in China. And if this visa policy should affect students in Hangzhou, then eventually it might affect students in all other cities. In China. So in this video, we'll be talking about 10 situations where your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. When I say likely to be rejected, it means that there are other things that can come into play. But if you fall amongst these 10 situations, be sure or if you're not very careful, your visa application, your visa extension application will be rejected and you are to leave China as soon as possible. Okay, so let's dive straight into the business of the, the video. So the first situation where your visa, your visa extension application is likely to be rejected is applicants with more than one stay visa. Now you'll be asking, that's a T visa. You'll be asking yourself, but what is a stay visa? For example, your, visa, your student visa has expired or you are to leave China. Maybe you've graduated and for one reason or the other, you are not able to get a flight to your country, maybe because of the virus, there are no flight tickets. So the immigration office will give you what we call a T visa, that's a stay visa. So applicants with more than one stay visa, your visa applications are likely to be, to be rejected, which means that if you've already been granted a stay visa, I think the stay visa is for a period of one month, which means that if they've already granted you one stay visa and you're applying for another stay visa or for another visa again, your visa extension application is likely to be cancelled. The next situation is a little bit tricky for me because I tried to understand it because it said applicants with business visa, performance visa or other kind of working visa. Which means that if you have a normal working visa, a business visa or a performance visa, then your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. With this I don't, I don't really understand what they mean by this, but I think I still have to find more information, which means that if I'm working normally in Hangzhou or I have a normal performance or a normal working visa, then my visa extension application is likely to be rejected. The next category says applicants with more than five years stay as a bachelor student in China, which means that if you've been doing your bachelor's degree for more than five years, then your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. Normally, a bachelor's degree in China takes four years. So if you are doing yours for five years now and you're not able to graduate, then you are already in the red zone. Your visa application, your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. You know, students just play around, extend visas just to stay around, but they don't want to graduate. So if you're doing your bachelor's degree for more than five years now, you're already in the red zone. The next situation says applicants with more than seven years of bachelor's plus language experience. You know, when you come to China, some students might take one or two years to first of all do a language program or do the Chinese language. That is if you are doing your bachelor's degree in Chinese. So if altogether you have seven years of bachelor's plus language program, then your 
visa application is likely to be rejected because normally you're supposed to do it for five years if you're doing language plus your bachelor's degree which means that you do your language for one year and you start your bachelor's the next year and you do it for four years making five years but if you're doing language plus, plus bachelor's for more than seven years then you are already in the red zone your visa application is likely to be rejected the next situation says applicants with multiple, multiple language study experience in China. This one is a little bit funny because it said multiple, multiple language study experience. You know, students in China, once they graduate and they don't want to go home, the way of getting an extension is that you apply for a one year language program. So students just jump from one year language program to another. They go to this university language program one year visa. They go to another university language program one year. And that's how they keep getting visas extension. But now it's like, I don't know if they don't want us anymore. They don't want students anymore. Or they're just looking for a way to reduce the amount of international students in China. I don't know about this. But they're like, if you've been moving from one language program to another and maybe they're not seeing the progress or seeing that you're actually there for the language program, then your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. The next point says freshmen of bachelor's program with the age over 35, which means that if you're over 35 years old and you're still applying for a bachelor's degree, then your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. At above 35 years, you're not supposed to still be doing a bachelor's degree according to the policy. The next point is about transfer students and it says applicants or transfer students without a detailed description of performance from their previous universities. Which means that if you are transferring from one university to the other and your university has not written a detailed letter talking about your performance in the previous university, then your visa application is likely to be rejected. The next point also is a very funny one because it says applicants of a master's or a bachelor's degree applying for visa again in the name of a language study program. You know, like I said, the trick that most students usually use is that when they graduate, they don't want to go home, they apply for visa again and say they want to do a language program. This time you are in the red zone and your visas might likely be rejected. The next point is like a link from the previous point. It says applicants with two years of language experience and applying for another visa in the name of another language study experience, your visas are likely, your visa extension application is likely to be rejected. This point is pretty clear because you've already had two years of visa extension for language study and you're applying for another language study visa, your visa application will likely be rejected. The next point says applicants with unqualified medical checkup results. Well, this has always been the case. If your medical results are not in cognis or are not okay with the policy or with the city or with the university, then your visa extension application was likely to be rejected. But if they are saying it again and reiterating on the point, it means that they might be more stricter this time with how they're going to analyze the, the medical checkup results. And so you have to try to stay healthy as you stay in China because when they say unqualified medical checkup results, we don't know the number of tests that they're going to do. We don't know which additional test they're going to do and we don't know how they're going to analyze the results. So to be on the safe side, stay calm, stay healthy as you study in China. Thank you so much for watching the video up to this end. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you like what we're doing on the channel, you're watching our videos and you're not yet subscribed to our channel, come on, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscription button, join us on the channel. We'll see you in our next video. Peace out and bye-bye.